So in this fourth question, uh, these are special type of questions where if you observe, this number is same as this mm -hmm. and this particular number is same as this. Okay. There's a special condition to it. So, and particularly these numbers are really big. And if you try to do elimination method, you will see that you are not able to do it uh, efficiently. Efficiently, I mean to say, it is taking a lot of time and calculation. Yes or no? Yes. So these questions are designed in a way, so if you follow a particular procedure, they become very easy. So step number one is to add both the equations. Add one and two. Okay. okay. So if I add one and two, the let x value will be added to x. So what will I get? Eight, uh, four, and three. And over here also I will get three forty-eight x y. Let's add this thing. This will be zero, three, four, and four, sixteen, seventeen. Now, if you see both the numbers will have the same number. So 348 okay. will come as a common x plus y. I don't know why. This thing happens. Let us come back to the question. Give me a second. Now, over here, if I take 348 common x plus y and 1740. So x plus y equals to 1740 divided by 348. Yeah. Okay. Let us quickly check whether it is completely divisible. Then we'll do it. 1740 divided by 348. So it is completely divisible by 5. Chances are it yeah. will be divisible. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now, similarly, step number two. This was step number one. Yes. Yeah. Subtracting one and two. Okay. Okay. Subtract one and two. Mm -hmm. First, I did addition. Then I will do subtraction. Okay. So, uh, two one seven. Subtracting. 131, I will be getting 86. And similarly over here, uh, this time I will be getting minus 86. Minus 86, why? Because yeah. 131 minus 217, okay? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 913, Minus eight to seven will give me again eighty six. Can you see how beautifully they are designed this question? That everything mm -hmm. is eighty six. So I will take eighty six common x minus y equals to eighty six. If I divide both sides by eighty six, x minus y equals to one. Yeah. Now. You can use elimination method, substitution method, or any method which you like to find x and y. Is that thing clear? Oh, yes. After this, you can try the second part on your own. Okay. In the final exam, they will not write, they may not write elimination method. So you can use substitution method also. Any doubt in this thing? Yes. What is your doubt? No, no, no. I thought you said, is it clear? Yeah. 